Everybody loves new orcs. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from spikybits.com. And in this video, we're going to show you the latest and greatest green skins from Hardcore Miniatures. They sent us over a big box full of these new uh, tank hunters, and I think, I, I think they're just great. So I love talking about this stuff and seeing all the cool designs that really combine some more real world elements with less of the grimdark that you know just i think just orcs that's just what they do and that's why they look so cool so there's a ton of new miniatures that they put out uh let's take a closer look at them so we hit up hardcoreminiatures.com over in the orcs category we uh jumped in here to the first page and you can see well it's got all the good stuff here so there's two different oh i'm zoomed in don't know why. Two different tank hunter squads, which are really neat at $49. And I suppose that's definitely worth mentioning too, because the Games Workshop Tank Busters squad is 45, soon to be 47 with the price increases. And they were designed in 2018. Um, and they got a revamp, you know, from like 2005 or something like that. I don't even remember at this point. But uh, so these are all fresh, super new, super new designs, you know, to, uh, late 2021s. Um, and just like I said in the intro, like it's really cool. Like look at the salvo launcher guy tank pistol I mean rocket pistols like how dope is that you got a rocket hammer? I mean, that's cool a couple different poses there uh, the lipas just looks like they have some bombs and things strapped to them We'll have to take a closer look at that and these tank hunters heads which you can put on other miniatures I'll show you those uh, I don't have some plastic versions of some stuff from games workshop to show you unfortunately I just don't have them, but uh, I'll show you the uh, the recesses on the back because I think these will work on the multi-part boys kit. So if you're looking to kind of get some really cool bits and there's a lot in there for 11 bucks, I feel like uh, that's a pretty solid uh, deal when it comes to that. So let's just zoom in real quick. So you're gonna get five miniatures here and they got that like really cool kind of RPG sort of look um to them which i think is really neat and that's the appeal to these miniatures is they're more no, apparently we're not going to see it we'll just take a closer look in the uh the build and uh bits here in a second but for me that at least that's the appeal is it's more like kind of near near future than like grimdark i guess because that's you know orcs just they just grab stuff and they just use stuff and it's it's always cool i feel like in my games when i see stuff from kind of real life, I guess. And, and you know, some of the designs and some of the things are borrowed for all sorts of miniature games out there. I feel like we can relate to more when it looks very similar to something that we're used to in real life. I do want to mention something. I like, I really like this guy. I, f I feel like he has, um, kind of looks like Arnold a little bit. I feel like a as an orc reimagined, you know, kind of like from Commando or something. And like I said, that's just really kind of, you know, emphasizes the fact I'm trying to make like why these miniatures seem to appeal at least to me and maybe to you guys too but you know it's something to be said for handcrafted boutique you know resin miniatures that are something that you're just not going to see out there quite as much so yeah um there's some different options it takes a little while you know shipping wise to get them from our hardcore miniatures because you know they're they're overseas but that being said you know sometimes the wait is definitely worth it it takes it usually takes two to three weeks to get uh stuff in here so i really like this guy unfortunately i don't think i have him but if we if i can find him we're going to put him together but we're definitely going to do at least a squad and show you some of the upgrade bits so here's how the kits are going to come uh to you like i said they're hand you know hand poured boutique resin gonna come in a big baggie sometimes stuff falls off it's not that big of a deal because i mean when you start looking at the uh the spruce here oh that's really cool it looks like a little at4 rocket that's neat i like that um and then you know cobbled together stuff here just like rando rpgs and things it's just really cool so everything's on the sprue and we got all the kits and this is basically what you're gonna get you know in a set of five dudes and there's two different styles i don't know which one i grabbed here so we're just gonna we're gonna get this put together here and uh, take a closer look here in a minute, but let's zoom in on some of the detail work. Uh, actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna build these, but well, let's switch gears, slide that out of the way. I wanted to show you some of these heads, these upgrade heads here, which are really cool. And it looks like that's like almost a rebreather head too, which is really, really neat. I like that one. So it's almost like a faux commando sort of style uh, or commando. And I don't know what this is up here. It's like Robo 
like Modoc, Modoc head. I don't know what that is, but kind of cool either way. Uh, there's some other ones that are really neat. So it's just like random helmet. Is that right? No, that's a random head. So it's like a cyborg almost. So it's good. they got those little recesses there. So I think they work with the, the regular Orc Boys kit if you're looking to upgrade something like that. Random spare jaw. But man, you can really see those facial expressions really come through on these. So that's what I think is really cool because those are some pretty detailed. Is that Robo, Robo Orc? Some pretty detailed uh, wicked facial expressions. Oh, there's where the jaw goes to this guy. Yeah, very cool stuff. So that's basically how the miniatures come. Now, whether you buy single miniatures or the whole squad, it's gonna come like that in a very similar fashion. Now, let's see how easy these are to get together. Oh man, these are these are really cool. I wish I had these when I was playing Orcs back in the day. But like I said, they've got that like real world kind of feel and aesthetic to them. And look at that, look at the resin, like it's super crisp, all the muscles. We don't have Inventum muscles too, which is really nice. And it's kind of hard to do with orcs, but um, you know, sometimes people put muscles where they're not supposed to be, but everything's there. It's got the got the RPG with a little, you know, a little bit different of a feel, all sorts of stick bombs, and I don't know what that is. Big, big tank hunter buster, some sort of thing right there. And this guy's really cool, he's got a cool helmet. Lots of different variety. Obviously, action pose. And I just really liked, oh, okay, there's that There's that one head. So I guess these are the heads that actually go on here that they sell separate <laughs> links of a uh, track as armor plates. We've seen that before, that's pretty cool. I just really like the composition of these. And this guy here, oh, of course, of course, of course he has a cigar, doing his thing, scanning for targets. It's really, really neat. And then the last guy pointing. Super easy to put together too. They just they just slot in like that. Uh, some of the bits are a little extra. I mean, obviously those are extra, arms are extra, and things like the uh, track bits sometimes are extra. Wait, not that one. This one here sometimes are extra uh, putting them on. But other than that, it's not not too incredibly uh, complicated or anything like that. A lot of times they have the instructions on their site too. Like if you scroll through all the pictures, there's tons of pictures. And then here's the little leapas. These guys are pretty neat. They have, uh, well, rocket and weapon bits basically growing out of them. I feel like that's, yep, that, that's definitely attached. Definitely attached and you can see where the extra bits are. Now we were just going kind of fast right there. You just want to be sure you get a better better seal, but you can always use plastic uh, plastic putty to get in there and get it, get it all uh, nice and done right. There you can see that one's a little bit better. Is that a hand? I forget. Yep, that's definitely a hand. Uh, I really like this little Razor uh, Faux Hawk right here too. Uh, on this guy <laughs> and instead of a a little dude riding up there it's another piece of uh, ammunition definitely got some bombs going on I like that guy and but yeah they're all pretty cool I mean just very very neat lots lots uh, to be expected I forget what this squad went for but I didn't think it was too obnoxious for six of them um, like I said, especially with all the price increases and things from Games Workshop, it just, it really makes voting with your hobby dollars a little bit easier because you can be like, well, you know, I can get something that's a little bit different, uh, a squad or two from my army and then maybe some plastics. I don't know, just whatever you feel like and kind of mix and match and, and do different things. And I think going forward, uh, for the people that, you know, are definitely still building armies and things, um, that's going to be the key is, you know, we're going to see so many different, uh, variants and, and things out there, different lists. Uh, I think that's really cool that, uh, that that we have that sort of flexibility out there. So here's one of the uh, uh, tank hammer guys, or rocket hammer guys, uh, that I think is really neat. And this guy, I think he came with a bunch of different other tips for the... I can't find them. No, those are bits for the tank hunters. Uh, so I don't have that. But either way, uh, they sell this guy separate. So, you know, if you just want a squad or a few different ones of these... Or just depending on what you're, you know, trying to put in your squad for like extra duders, uh, you can definitely do that. Uh, unfortunately, this was all that this was all the models I had time to make. Uh, my favorite, I didn't have time to build. Unfortunately, um, the little Arnold tank hunter Lita. Uh, I thought that would have been pretty cool, but you know, it is what it is. Sorry about that. Uh, so, but of course, you can always get yours over at HardcoreMiniatures.com. Uh, you know, and like I said, uh, just keep voting with your hobby dollars because you can get stuff like this, which is you know, really very well crafted 
handcrafted in resin, you know, designed everything by, you know, a hobbyist, independent business person in the hobby that's out there connecting with the community in a positive way. You know, and then you have the alternative too, that uh, a lot of people have a lot of things to say about these days. And you know, that's that's what's so cool about this hobby and what makes it so great. There's so many different companies now and so many different ways to spend your hobby dollars that uh, please just continue to vote going you know, into 2022 and continuing on because uh, the hobby isn't going away, but I think things are definitely gonna be changing. So check them out, Hardcore Miniatures. Uh, dot com for sure and before you go over there make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to give me the very first to like and comment on all our videos if you liked that video feature consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here as well as some of the top 3d artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing plus discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers they're yours to keep whether you cancel or stay on just it's totally up to you obviously we want to keep you as happy as possible so check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spiky bits